What up, though? I'm about to just um, chit-chat with y'all for a little bit. Um, this is just like the stress with me. Mila, y'all want to see my cat? She be wildin'. No. Come here. Now I'm about to show y'all my baby. No, Mila. Come. My dog, she be bugging out. Come, boo boo. I just have my cat, but I have my dog for a while. I just never really show her on YouTube. But this is Emmy Lily. Her first name is Emmy, which means beautiful blessing. And her last name, Lily, is um, my great grandmother who passed away. Her middle name was Lily, and we used to call her Lily. So, Emmy Lily, and then we have Mila Lily, and we are the Lily and Ciara family. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to roll up though, so y'all gonna have to skedaddle. Come on. Say hi, Mila. I'm being crazy. I love you both. Alright, both of y'all go down for real. Cause mama about to scroll up. About to scroll up. I mean you can stay up here while I'm scrolling, but you won't have to go down. Let's relax. Um, so yeah. Just came home from work. Um, the first thing I usually do, I'm not gonna lie, is make a split. I mean, roller split, make a sense, make a sense, roller split. But um, I'm trying to slow down. Uh, come on. I'm, just, I'm not trying to slow, I'm just trying to cut back a little bit. Yo, cut the toe, cut the toe. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here like, do a little quick chit chat, sit down with y'all. Um, since I've been kind of active, a lot more active than I've ever been on YouTube, and it's crazy. I haven't even been up uploading like back to back, but this is the most active I've ever been. Um, so I'm really doing this content creating thing. Um, it's getting there, it's getting there, y'all. Um, but I am going to start doing singing Saturday. Singing Saturdays, I'm gonna come over here. And I want you guys, I think I'm gonna start next week to give people time to like send in their requests. But I do want you guys to send me messages on songs you would like to hear me sing or um, maybe freestyle on or do my own little version. I don't know, but just um, send me your requests, like songs you wanna hear me sing on my channel. Um karaoke if you want to hear it karaoke if you want I mean, to kind of just sing along with it whatever but because I'm going to be doing everything um once I get like a legit set up I'm actually going to start showing you guys how I um because I I have a I'm a musician as well I know how to produce but I just don't have the space to like have a setup so once I do that I'm going to be doing that I'm going to be showing you guys how I produce how I mix sounds and like make it sound really bomb like I be trying to tell y'all people I be sleeping on myself not gonna lie message if you know that you are skillful in something and not even saying like you better than everybody but you do it very well because at the end of the day we could all be skillful in something like there's a whole bunch of makeup artists we all do not work the same our work does not look the same so if you have a skill, my uncle always says, says, because he's, he's so alive, the cemetery is one of the most expensive and talented places. Because a lot of people die with their skills and their talents and don't 
get to share with the world and it's just there in the cemetery and i never really understood that when i was little until now that i got older and i'm like that's that's facts it's facts and i don't want to be that person i don't want to you know whenever my time comes god forbid you know um i don't you get what i'm saying i want to be i want to feel fulfilled like i put my all into the world like I let all of my talent shine. You get what I'm saying? So, yes, I'm trying to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to portray that on my YouTube as well, especially because I'm getting new followers on Instagram and stuff. And I just, and I'm like kind of venturing into this new kind of like nightlife career. And I just don't want that to be like the basis of what people see about see of me right now because right now that's what that's what i'm doing right now because i'm just trying to get up and running well not up and running but i'm just you know networking getting myself out there whatever but um yeah do not sleep on yourself because you sleep on yourself playing yourself. I'm not gonna lie and take it from me because i've had my youtube channel since i was in high school i don't went to freshman year i done graduated high school graduated college and i still am now becoming consistent on youtube i played myself i did i just played myself but it's all right because we here now i roll my clips first before i roll again like some fresh weed yeah. oh i've been making waist beads can we show y'all because i have the pants I've been making waist beads. I've been knitting again. Um, um, I just started taking care of my voice a little bit better. So I'm really working on 2023 being the year for me. For real, for real, I'm branching out in everything. In everything that I'm capable of, I'm branching out. I'm speaking it into existence. I'm gonna be known for everything. I'm gonna be known for being able to do more than one thing. Cut it out. I swear I am. I was supposed to be showing y'all how I moisturize my locks. Okay. My this is not 4K. Is Sorry it? if the um the uh the resolution is not that good. Hey forehead. Um I'm I hate when people say I'm oh, here I am saying I start by wetting my locks. And I actually in this concoction I have cactus oil, which is base which is this, but I, I still put it in. Well this is spray oil. That's this is cactus oil. So I have cactus oil in here. And this is all from the mango lime um, line. So I have cactus oil in there, in here with water. And I actually have the bottle over there. That's so why I keep putting over there. And then I have the um, spoil spray oil that I put on as well. Hold on. We about to just tell you real quick. Mila. All right. So, I make sure they're like super wet. You see how wet it is? I like to get it super wet. Um, because my hair is super, is, I don't know why I keep saying super, my hair is really dry. So sometimes I have to over moisturize. That's what I call it, over moisturize. Um, to the fact where it's like super oily and like dripping for it to stay in my head. So after that, I spray the um, spray oil. And I'm making sure I separate my locks so I get it on my scalp. It's crazy, before this, before using any of this, I only used to use like water and oil. 
actually that's how i got my locks like this just water and oil and i just started like once it got longer i started you know take a little extra extra precaution i spray it all over and then Make sure that is saturated. And then after that, I go in with Crece Pelo. Fun fact, um, an ex-co-worker of mine, because I don't work there anymore, and she doesn't work there anymore either, she put me onto the drops. And this was a while ago, and my whole, all my sides had grew back. And then I pulled them out again with the wig. With my wig and now I'm just you know it's already growing bad but I'm just using this to make sure it comes back fully um, that's another reason why I don't wear the wigs as much anymore especially also because my locks are getting longer um, so I really don't want to have to do that all the time so with this It's drops, so I so I actually got the drops because I well this is is this a drop? Well the bottle that she gave me before was really small. I kinda I think I threw it on the right Once I got this, I threw this out, I threw it out. Um and it was like a dropper bottle, but this one actually has the nozzle. I don't know how to get it, how to fill it up all the time. Do I have to leave it? And then I usually just put it ooh, on my edges. Drop. And just rub it in there. My edges in the front. And then I do, I put a lot because I know it works. I just rub it in and then I go so this is my first these are my second set of locks my first set of locks I had to take out because I was really going in and bleaching a lot a lot a lot and it caused me to it was bleaching and then I was styling it a lot and it caused me to get two ball spots on my temporal lobes I think but my mom told me like ever since I was little like those spots were always really super sensitive so um when I first when I got my first set of locks and it started like OD and, and damn you see how my hair is just dripping and damaging my hair this was a huge ball spot and so over here was too literally even to each other on each side of my head symmetric to each other I mean um and I, I took them out and then I did this set. So now I'm not trying. I'm just really paying attention to what I'm doing to my hair. And paying attention to like my routine and how I maintain it and my wigs. How long I'm keeping my wigs on. Because apparently you can't like have shit on your locks all the time too because it needs to breathe so i was just suffocating my locks bleaching i was doing a lot so that's why it um kind of you know fucked up or whatever got fucked up but yeah i just and i put this wherever i kind of think it's getting sparse but then again i always think something is sparse my mom be like girl that is not a ball spot but i'm super I'm super like cautious because so I got the ball spots um, with my first set of locks but before that when I had first got my first ever sewing my first and last ever sewing literally um, I had gotten a ball spot in the middle of my head when I was a loose natural and it grew back because I know how to take care of my hair 
So my, I don't know. I think my scalp is just super sensitive to like everything. Every little thing will cause it to like. Um, kind of like. It doesn't fall out. It kind of just like, I don't know, thins, thins. There we go. Everything causes, causes my hair to thin. So I really have to um, be really cautious about my hair. That's why like if you see me with wigs, you see me now, it's like a couple days and then. You see my locks right after. Literally, I put my wig on for like photo shoots and bookings, and then the night. If we don't have like another booking or event that week, take it off and let my babies breathe. So I'm just making sure I like see how much I put it by here. Like, I'm probably overdoing it, but I just don't need any ball spots ball spots ain't cute take it from me i've had three and not all together like different times two was together so i did that and usually my hair is like pretty done with the water like dry so now so then I spray it again. Of course, shake it up so it kind of mixes after it separates. Just spray it again a little bit. And then this is actually for my locks itself. Everything else was like for um, my scalp. So this is the Cactus Leave-In Moisturizer. I then put that in. It's super liquidy, so I usually go like this, so that it falls, so that if anything falls, it falls on my head. And you just put it on your lock, start at the end. I just kind of massage it into my hair. Uh, okay. There's that. That's all I did to my hair. Ooh. And then I usually put my bonnet on. Yeah, and then my head starts itching. But my hair is growing back. You can't really see it because it's fucking camera quality. is like trash. But I have a hair on my edges. It's just not as full as it was before. Ooh. It's another you cannot, do not be scratching your scalp with anything sharp like I'm doing. Oh, especially if you got a scalp like mine, but use your tips like this. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Ooh, that feels much better too. Um, but yeah, I just, after that, I just came home from work too, so this feels so good. Ooh, so after that, I just put my bonnet on. Well, oh shoot. <laughs> so I just put my bonnet on. And then sometimes I wear it like this. Or a majority of the time I do the Aladdin. Because it's so big, my locks aren't that long yet. I kind of just. I make sure that it's not touching my edges or my locks, the material. And then bounce it bigger. Mm, 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 mm. So that's all I do. Um, let me give you some little deets about my locks. I think I did write how many I have. Or it's either on my Instagram or something. Hold on. No. I did count the other day though and I think I have like 40 something so this is when I first started my locks my first set of locks let me show you I was doing a lot look at the colors like just watch blonde 
Back to red. Orange. Red again. Like. And this is when I realized, like, it was really, like, falling out. And then. I did. And that, my first set was. I started on um, Jennifer in March, March 15, 2019. And then my second set, which are these, I started on um, June 17, 21. So, and these have are. Have a good day, everybody. They were pink and blonde, and I have, I left them like that. I had my little wisdom lock that the um, loctician cut off. And here they are. So, I came a long way, and I'm just really trying to make sure my hair doesn't mess up anymore that's it so a lot of times y'all see me in my videos i'm gonna have wigs on simply because i'm just trying to get my hair to thrive and get to get it to a length where i feel like all right i could start really start wearing it out a little bit more and not just a length but my scalp i want to get my scalp really healthy and like knotty before i start like um wearing it out wearing it out more often Mila! Oh my gosh, she's eating my dog's food. Uh-uh. Alright. Um, but yeah, that's all I do. I don't have a full head of locks. The back of my head um, is shaved. Hold on, I don't know if I can show y'all. The back of my head is shaved. I'm woofing a little bit, but... So I don't have a full head of locks. So that's why I have such um, a small number, I guess. But yeah, so this is just a little lock video. Um, you know, just letting y'all know a little facts or specs about my locks, personally. Um, I can do like a lock video if you guys want. With just like information on locks how to start it how to care for it it's like my opinions i guess because there are i know there are a lot of um oh, is not that good y'all i'm filming from my ipad looks crazy oh no that's my home i think that's my screen protector too um but yeah so i start with my so hey guys i'm gonna be doing um but i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to let me know the songs you want to hear me sing. Um, you guys could um, DM me on Instagram. Sierra Monique underscore two E's. Or you can message me on here. Or leave a comment. And yeah, follow me on Instagram, y'all. I'm trying to get my followers up as well as my subscribers. Follow me on Instagram. But I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that my following is going up on Instagram. So I'm trying to convert those followers into subscribers. So if y'all could subscribe, if y'all like my videos, hit the subscribe button. Join the familia. I have a lot of videos coming for you guys. Got a lot more time to dedicate to my videos. So let's go. Later.